I want to ask you a really dumb question that might offend you, but I got to do it. Would you be willing to to poison your child intentionally? Intentionally. Okay. Would you be willing to poison your child intentionally? Well, some people, the answer is yes, believe it or not, because some people sit around and smoke cigarettes and smoke drugs and different things with their kids. I know because I've witnessed this before. Okay. In my days, when I was a kid, I watched parents do this to, to other kids. Okay. So we, can, we don't have to debate that. That's real as it get, but that's very few people. But for the other people that got good sense, you wouldn't want to feed your kid poison uh, intentionally. Well, I want to bring something to your attention. A pack of cigarettes has acrolyne in it and acrolyne causes cancer and other ailments in the body. Very toxic. And it has enough to it to where they tell you, you know, don't you know, you can't let kids smoke these and blah, 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 because it's just like not a good thing. But what they do is they sneak us from the backside. And when I say they, let's be real specific, because we like to say they, but we don't put a name on it. I'm going to put a very specific name on this one. I'm going to put Bill Gates name on this one. Billy, Billy, Bill, William Gates, whatever his name is. So Bill owns the majority of the farmland that these uh, McDonald's potatoes are grown on. Now, keep in mind, and I'm going somewhere with this. Keep in mind that these potatoes are known to be so toxic with this chemical that in different chemicals, the people that's handling them, the farmers that's handling these potatoes, they got to let them sit out first because they're just, it's too dangerous. It's too toxic. Now that's according to reports. I'm protecting myself, y'all. All right. So these McDonald's fries goes into the, the restaurants and they're fried and they're served. So let's not talk about the adults. Okay. Because you know, look, we, we do what we want to do and we make our own decisions. So let's talk about the kids. They put these advertisements up and with the McDonald's and the Ronald McDonald and stuff, and they rake the kids really, um, you know, really interested in that. And it's just like, the, Mc, I want McDonald's, I want McDonald's. But just because your kids love it, that's what you're going to feed them? Just think about that. So let me give you more to think about. Let me give you more facts. A order of fries, order of French fries. And I had to, because I want to say, I, look, let's, for argument's sake, let's say an extra large, the biggest order they got, whatever it is. I don't, I'm not sure I haven't been there in years. But let's take the biggest order that they got, right? And you're going to feed this to your kid not realizing that that one order of fries got more acrylyne in it than 100 cigarettes so what does that tell you that tells you that the uh, the government really don't care about our kids or us because they know what they feed us and what's so crazy about it is that you can take a little drugs which is wrong and you can possess them and and you can go to uh to the park and you can sell these drugs to kids you're gonna get life you're gonna get life in prison. If you get caught in the wrong situation, you're subject to get life in prison because you're sent to these kids. At minimum, you're gonna get some years, and, and especially if the feds get a hold to you. And I agree with that wholeheartedly. I also agree that if you sell drugs that will kill us in a restaurant, you should go to prison also. So just imagine how many people that uh, McDonald's has killed. Just think about that. Think about all the family members that you've seen bent over. Oh, oh, or or let, let's just say the food industry in, in its in its entirety, right? Hurting and pain. And then they give you the medicine to help ease the pain while killing you faster. You see what I'm saying? This is what's going on here. But guess what? They get away with it with nothing. Nothing. They get rewarded. They get in Forbes magazine for owning the biggest, the biggest company and making the most money of the year. They get uh, awards for being so, um, you know, indebted in the community and helping the community and doing this and doing that because they give away free things to bait you in. That's all it is. And they get away with it. But if you sell drugs that it kills somebody, you go to prison. In fact, I would think that in some cases, um, this, the food industry should be held to a higher uh, standard of punishment because they're killing you slow. It's torture. It's torture. And they're not telling you. They, they, listen, these people are worse than your local drug dealers. When somebody buy drugs, and I'm not condoning it at all, but when somebody buy a, uh, a daily drug from you, they know what it is, but they choose to, to use it. They choose to buy it. It's their choice. But these restaurants are just like putting this stuff out there on the low, feeding it to you and lying to you about what it is and they're getting away with it. So what's the solution? The solution is easy. Stop feeding your kids McDonald's. <laughs> it stops. That stops it right there. And then we don't have to worry about all the other stuff. Stop giving this poison to your kids.